Hi and welcome. Today in our tutorial, we are going to learn about VPN, which is Virtual Private Network. So we'll be seeing that how can we set up VPN on Windows 11 and how can we share the files between the two computers. Now, we'll be talking about that how can you do it in a normal network environment, but you can set up the same thing by using a public IP address and you can access the services and things which are shared on your home network from anywhere else on the internet. So um, in order to get started, just try to understand that these are two virtual instances of Windows uh, 11 Professional. Um, I am running both instances of them on my virtual machine. So uh, first of all, the thing that you'll have to check is that you'll have to make sure that the firewall on both computers is turned off so that um, there is no connectivity issue between these computers. So in order to do that, we'll go to the control panel and we'll click on uh, uh, Windows Firewall and make sure that it is turned off on both of these computers. So it's off on this one and let's check on the second one and uh, uh, we'll check it on this one also by clicking on Windows and we can see that it's off. Um, second thing is that we'll have to check the IP addresses of uh, both of these machines. So in order to do that, uh, we'll type IP config and it showed me that the IP address of our first machine where we will have the setup for VPN is uh, 56 and on our other machine um, we have it on 57. Third thing is we need to make sure that there is connectivity in between those computers so I'll ping uh, my other machine 192.168.176.157 and we can see a response it means that it can see and I'll do the same thing over here 192.168.176.156 and we are getting response so we are all good now uh, what we need to do after that is that we need to set up VPN on this computer. So in order to set it up, we'll go to Network and Sharing Center and we'll go to Change Adapter Settings and here you can see that there is one adapter at the moment. So in order to set it up, you'll press Alt from your keyboard and you'll see an option New Incoming Connection. Um, we'll select that and then we'll select the account that we would like to use in order to uh, allow users to connect to the VPN which is running on our host machine. Now if you have an account already you can select that otherwise you can add someone else or you can add an account from here which you want to use it since I have multiple accounts I'm going to use this one which is called admins. Now I'll press next I'll click on through the internet as well so that my users if they want they can connect to my computer using uh, or coming through the internet as well. Press next. Uh, I'm not going to select TCP version 6. I'll keep it as default and allow access. So it would have a connection over here on your computer. Just press close and again go to change adapter settings. So you'll be able to see now two connections over here. If you want to see certain settings on this one, you can go to the properties of it and you can select the users. If, for example, you want to add a new user or you want to change the permissions on that one, you can change it from here. And on networking, uh, I am selecting TCP IP version 4. Now, we'll have to make one more change over here is that we'll go to the properties and we want to define a range of IP addresses where um, my users will be able to access it. So um, since I am on 192.168.176 range, so I want to allocate some IP addresses over here, uh, which is from 200 to 210. It could be any number that if someone is connected to this one, I am allowing around about 11 users to be connected via VPN on my computer. I'll press OK over here and press OK. Now, we don't need to make any changes on this one. Uh, just for the sake of information, I am running uh, my uh, command prompt over here as well so that you can see clearly what's the IP address of this one. So I'm keeping it over here as uh, you can see that 156 is here. Now on our second computer, we'll have to set up a VPN uh, so that we can connect to this computer, which is our host computer. So in order to do that, I'll go to start and I'll click on settings 
and on my settings uh, I have a VPN under my network and you can see VPN over here and we don't have any VPN defined over here so I'll minimize it but I want to show you one more thing over here that if I'll go to network and sharing center and if I'll go to chain settings I don't have a VPN connection over here so we'll have to work on a VPN connection now in order to do that uh, first of all what I would do is that I'll add a VPN and uh, I'll name it for example home VPN connection and uh, VPN connection and then I'll give the IP address which is over here so that would be 192.168.176.156 which is over here so um, I'll keep the type as automatic then I'll enter the username that I used in order to create the account over here and then I'll provide the password now once that's done I'll save it so you'll see it over here and if you'll go to your connections now you can see a connection of home VPN here as well now if you want to make certain changes on it you can right click on it go to properties and then you can go to the security options make sure that everything is intact and uh, for the TCP IP settings I'm not defining anything over here and if you want you can uncheck this one also then press OK and now if you want to connect this VPN you'll click on connect now as you can see that it is connected and here we have a new connection appearing which is admins and if we'll try to um, get the details about this one we can see that the IP address is 200 which we actually defined in the starting that it would connect using this IP connection now in case in some cases some people have the problem that they are not able to connect to this one so um, if you are not able to connect uh, using this setting you'll have to do one thing that you'll have to go to the properties of this one go to the users make sure that you have selected the user over here go to networking make sure that the properties and everything is set and you have the ip addresses in the same range as the ip address of this machine and make sure that this thing is checked over here um, check it again and press ok you'll be able to connect it now um, since uh, we can connect now and as you can see that as soon as a user connects it you can see one client connected and uh, it even shows the address for that so um, this is the connection which is actually connected you can see the icon changed here as well where it is identifying that it is connected to the VPN and you can see this small icon over here um, if you double click on this one again you will be able to see that it's the IP address 203 so if we'll ping it from here and we'll uh, uh, type uh, uh, let's type it ping and we'll type 192.168.176.203 uh, we are able to ping it since this computer can see the other computer on the same network and likewise in order to check the sharing of files you can either create a shared folder over here or um, to be more uh, clear what I would do is that I would go to uh, program and features and I would uh, install a web server on this one um, just to see that if it can access it on the same address or not so um, I am in my program and features and then I'll select Microsoft Internet Information Services over here which is Internet Information Services click OK and it would install IAS on your computer now once that's done press close and close this one if you want to see if it's running you can go to run and type I net MGR and press OK you'll be able to see the interface of IAS and if you want to access it on your computer um, on which you are running the web server you can type in localhost and press enter so it would show the default page of IAS or if you would like to enter 192.168.176.156 still you'll be able to see the same page because that's the IP address of this server but what I want to do is that 
I want to run this service instead of running it on 156, I want to run this service or this website on um, a new IP address which we have uh, for um, VPN which is 200. Um, so at the moment since it is running on the same computer you'll be able to see it but I want to change it so that only it is accessible through 200. Um, so in order to do that I'll go to my web server and uh, I'll go to my website and then first of all I'll stop it over here and then I'll go to the binding settings and here I'll have to assign an IP address over here so I'll enter 176.200 press OK close and start the service now once the service would start I would if I'll try to refresh it on 156 which is the IP address of this server now you can see that it's not running on this one instead it is running on a server 200 so it means that if i am hosting a website on my network which i want to allow only vpn users to access it i can host it over here and i can give the ip range over there so that my remote users will be able to access it so if i'm going on my remote computer whereas you can see in the taskbar i'm still connected to the uh, vpn connection and if i'll try to access this website which is hosted on our host computer i will be able to access that if i'll type in 192.168.176.200 i am able to access this website over here now if you want to allow the users to access your computer this computer from the internet so what you'll have to do in that case is that you'll go to your settings and when you are defining the um, network on your or you're defining the VPN connection over here you'll provide a name over here but the IP address would be your public IP address so uh, if you want to add the public IP address you can open the browser and type in what is my IP address it would give you your actual IP address you'll have to enter it over here and you'll have to provide a username and password and then um, you'll have to make changes to your router as well where you would allow any connection which is coming uh, from the internet to be routed um, using that IP address to your local services but there is a concern in that that if anyone would gain access to your username and password they'll be able to access your services so make sure that what you're doing uh, put in place the right security principles in order to make sure that your network is protected if in case you want the users to connect it from outside network. That's it for today. Thank you very much.